I'm out with Wayne on Christmas Eve. His first uh, dig is silver ring. Silver ring. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it's got something on the top. You said it came up on a penny signal? Huh? Penny? Yeah, 641. Yep. He's hunting with the CTX. He's using the tiny pro coil today. It's a Mickey Mouse ring. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Let me, uh... Alright, I'm out here in the cold. Here's Wayne over there by the wood, wood line. I'm hunting around this uh, area that I think used to be an old tree. And I came up with a deep 120 signal. There aren't too many signals, so I went for it. And it looks like a, a silver nickel. I can just make out the P above the Monticello. So that's a good sign. I'm on the board with the silver. Alright. This one was a tough one to find. Got a nice deep uh, silvery signal. You can see a silver dime in there. What do we have? Looks like a Merc. Maybe a Rosie? I'll clean it up. It's a Rosie. 64. Okay, that counts. Alright. Alright guys, here's some things I found in a, re a couple of recent hunts in the woods. Um, broken spoon. Quite old looking. Silver plated. Silver plated fork. Too bad that's not silver, it's pretty, pretty heavy. Uh, old uh, pocket knife. A few assorted coins. Got these uh, Pittsburgh Railway tokens. These come up around the pull tab range, the low pull tab range, around a 10 on the E track. Army man. Pretty cool gun. It's like a Lone Ranger cap gun. And, uh, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but it opens up. Yep. That's pretty cool. What Look, looks like a three ringer. I don't know if it's carved or what. Uh, nice old block. A lightweight. An old belt buckle. Piece of jewelry. These two iron rings are about, or copper rings, are about 10 feet apart from each other, maybe 8 feet. And I wonder if they're at the end of a pole. Uh, let's see what that is a uh, shell casing. Couple of these shotgun shells. I already said the army man. Piece of brass, I'm not sure what that used to be. Flat piece of copper. This thingamabob. And then I'll show you upstairs in the sunlight uh, my best coin spill ever, probably, from the same hunt right at the end of the day. All right, I'm going to show you guys the coins. I got my uh, probably best coin spill ever. I didn't have my camera with me, but the uh, first thing I dug was a buffalo nickel. Looks like a 1927. It came up as a 30 signal, and this is the first thing I dug, and I knew I was in something good. Then I waved my handheld pinpointer over. I got a silver signal. got a silver dime. It's a barber. 1906 uh, San Francisco Mint. It's kind of uh, beat up on the back. But just worn. The w one dime is mostly gone. So happy to find it. And I thought that was great. So then uh, I stood up. I was about to fill in the hole. I got another signal. And it was a half dollar. Barber half. 1907 Denver Mint. So there it is. A very nice coin spill.